Hey guys, JTails here. Okay, so I got home and I just, uh, actually on my Facebook page, I saw that they posted, there was just a post saying that the demo for Final Fantasy XIII Lightning Returns is available. And I plan on getting this game on release date. I've already pre-ordered the Collector's Edition, which comes with the uh, Cloud Strife costume for Lightning. And a couple of other things. So I'm really excited for this game and I figured why not, you know, get into the demo and play it for for you guys. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I've I haven't seen I've seen a little bit on this game, but not enough to know. So we're gonna get into it together. Oh man, that music is so awesome. Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm really excited right now. Um I haven't made a video in, in quite a while, and I know I've been inconsistent, but I'm going to try and, like I said, do... Oh, Square Enix. We in there. Let's do this. Hopefully my resolution is on point as well. I think it is. I think it should be fine. Now, I haven't played 13-2. I've, I just played all of part one. So, there might be a knowledge gap, but let's see what happens. Loving the uh, red lightning in the background. So sick. I love it already.
<laughs> that was pretty badass. Oh man, alright, I'm so excited. Okay, so, I don't know if that was the end of part 2, because like I said, I haven't played it, but, uh, brightness, I always like things a little brighter than normal, just so I can have a better ma magnety font, oh, the size of it, huh, I guess it, it's fine by default, oh, they're off. Yeah, subtitles are always cool. Minimap, that's fine. Fixed to the north, okay. I guess everything is pretty on point. I'll get right into it. Um, so yeah, I don't... Ooh. You can use various networking features in this game to communicate with other players as long as you're connected to the internet. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. The online environment that is available via your connection is called the Outer World, and the ways that you can communicate with other players in this space are the Outer World services. You can post about your experiences in the game and view screenshots and messages. Oh, okay. Well, for those of you who haven't downloaded this yet, what I read was if you post your score on the Outer World, you get a free costume for Lightning. It's uh, some samurai costume. So that that's interesting. People whose names appear in blue in the field are carrying messages posted by other players. These characters are called Outer World characters. Okay, so I guess they're taking a page out of Dark Souls book where you can leave messages for other players on the ground, although that sounds way cooler. Um, Outer World services can be linked with social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter. Oh, that's a genius marketing plan. That's amazing. You can change Outer World settings with the settings option in the menu in the triangle main menu. Now you can interact with the real world outside of the game while you explore the fantastical world within. That's really cool. I'm going to try and use the out, Outer World uh, during this demo. Do you want to enable connections? Yeah, sure. Alright, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't curse. Don't worry about it. Next. How do I agree? Don't worry. Um, yes, I agree. So, guys, if you haven't downloaded it already, um, you can post your score to the Outer World and get a free costume. The uh, pre-ordering gives you a free costume, gives you Cloud Strife's outfit, and then downloading the demo itself also gives I Lightning... Look. Oh From crap. My dreamless sleep. I was just in time to witness the end of the world. Oh, I think this is the same cutscene. It's beginning. I had no idea. The feast at the end of time. The last revelry to say farewell. The people here know that it's almost over. Yeah. Only 13 days to go. Well now I feel silly, because I didn't know they were going to play this twice. But, <laughs> I guess I'll just add a little, a quick skip in the video. To kind of speed things up for you guys. It's the chaos. Do you want to turn back? Too late now. What are you doing? The savior. Huh. Is she taking their souls? Not too sure what's going on exactly. Sire! Got it.
Snow, it's been a long time. You know what I am, and you know what I want. I can take a wild guess. You want to save me. The legends had told of her coming. Banisher of darkness, bringer of light, redeemer of souls. She'd come at the end of days to guide our souls to salvation. Damn you, lightning! What's it gonna be? You gonna try to kill me? Huh? <laughs> It's over. You're a regular angel of death, Light. So now what? This is the bit where you save my soul? I could help you, if that's what you want. Damn it! What kind of answer is that? <laughs> uh-uh. Now that isn't going to work. <laughs> Lumina! Now that's not right. You're not supposed to throw your life away. <laughs> I swear that kid is a demon. Angels of death and demons? You're attracting the wrong crowd, Snow. Oh. No one is gonna stop me. You hear? Not you, definitely not her. If I have to fight the savior, then I will. Okay, so I have no idea who Lumina is. Maybe she's from part two. And I don't know why... The centuries have changed us, Snow and me. Once we fought desperately together against our fates. Now he's patron of a never-ending revel. Presiding over a banquet at the end of the world. And I've become the savior. I'm a servant of God. Sent to a world being consumed by chaos. Tell me, Snow. Has ever a day passed when you haven't thought about Sarah? The girl you loved? My younger sister? How long has she been gone now? She brought us together and made us allies and friends. I can't give her back to you, but I can save your soul and free you from your long torment. It'll be my first act as savior. Mr. Hope S time. Any ideas? What do I do next? Like, come on. Just call me Hope, okay? Right now, your number one priority is snow. Don't let him get away. Alright, looks like we're getting into a battle. Schematic tutorial. Well, this looks complicated as always. Learn about battle controls and schemata. Yeah, I'll take the tutorial. Move lightning with the joystick and attack. Oh, awesome. I can move her. That's pretty cool. And using the abilities assigned to each button. All right. So it's kind of, it looks kind of like Kingdom Hearts so far. Let's see how. Press the button of the ability you wish to unleash. Each ability will consume a set amount of ATB. Hold down circle attack to strike out of your enemy until you're out of ATB. Oh, yeah. I can move her. That's awesome. And now I'm just holding circle. Lightning can switch between three schemata. 
in each battle in each battle with a different with different abilities and strengths. Press L1 or R1 to switch bes between schemata. Alright, I hit R1 and now she looks like some, what, pirate chick? <laughs> schemata is used to describe a given set of garb, equipment, and abilities. Each schemata has its own ATB gauge, which is replenished over time. Keep your eye on the ATB gauges and enemies' health and switch between schemata to match the situation. Use your schemata wisely to defeat even the strongest enemies. That's really cool. That's really awesome. Okay. I'm gonna try Frost Strike. Alright. And there's a guard button, which is interesting also, so I can block attacks. Oh, I don't have enough for Triangle. That's not letting me do it. I'll just do keep do going with- oh, there we go. Alright, that dealt good damage. Black Mage. Alright. Oh, she looks badass like that. That's cool. Alright. <laughs> it makes that same fire noise from, uh... Oh, and does the ATB gauge recover while I'm in other schemata? That's what it looks like. Yeah, look, this one. This one's already full. Time claims us all. All right, I'm already loving this game so much. Even though it's just lightning, it seems, and from other videos I've seen, it's just lightning. She plays as a whole party by herself, and you have full control over her. You can block, you can move, even though, you know, she kind of inches when she moves. Attack enemies using R1 to strike preemptively. That's cool. Alright. So when you attack an enemy, they begin with 10% less health. That was easy. Alright. I wonder if I can back attack for even more damage. Guarding tutorial. Oh, well. I'll run by this tutorial anyway. Take it. Hold down square to use guard. A defensive ability that lessens damage you take from attacks. Hold down square to try and guard against an incoming attack. And wh while I hold it, the ATB gauge is just slowly going down. To recover health, press start and use a recovery item. When HP reaches zero, you can no longer fight. Be sure to recover health before it's too late. Lightning does not heal automatically after a fight. Okay, that's interesting. That's an interesting addition. Outside of battles, press triangle to open the main menu and select recovery item to use. Remember to always watch lightning's HP levels. So what was it? Start, and I can use a potion. It pauses the fight, and I can heal this way. Oh, submit snapshot? That's cool too. I can take a picture of where I am in the fight. Awesome. So now, I can see the strategies being switching ATB gauges so you can block, because the guard, oh, it takes up two. And then it starts counting down as you're already here. While, while you're holding down the uh, guard button. Alright, now I'll go to my black mage. Blazaga. Oh, he staggered! Oh, man. Alright, cool. So. Alright, let me find some more enemies. Where is that other little puffball? Oh, people. All in a day's work. So wait, are these blue messages like... How to uh, buy sent item? So it's downloading a message from another player right now. Those NPCs are not really NPCs. Is that what I understand? Oh, it's a s snapshot. So someone else took the snapshot during their battle. I, I, I hit square, so I did cheer. I don't know. You cheered 
diff on. I like that picture though. How do I how do I look at it better? Well, all right, I'll figure it out later. All in a day's work. I wish you can make your own character and do these things then. All right, so R1 lets me attack. That's so cool. I can just attack a lot like while not in battle. All right, there we go, an enemy. And I'm guessing the same way if I stealth behind him, I'll be able to uh to get even a better advantage. Haha, <laughs> she looks so cool. Alright, Lightning is my favorite character by the way, for those of you who don't already know. So, d her being like, the only character in this game is awesome. And just seeing her in, with different equipment and things like that. You've unlocked Schematic Customization. Press Triangle to open the main menu and select Customize Schemata to edit your Schemata equipment and abilities. Try creating various Schemata for different options during battle. Okay, I'll give that a try too. What's this orange dot here? I don't know. But I'll hit triangle. Um, Alright, settings are the same options. Customize schemata. Alright, so I have these three. The uh, Dark Muse, which I don't really know what class this would be, but she looks pretty cool. She's kind of like a soldier. And the Black Mage. Um, oh, and then I have Red Mage. Heart Stealer and Dragoon. Oh, that looks so cool. And then there are also empty slots here, I'm guessing. Alright, I'm gonna try and put Heart Stealer in the spot of uh, Dark Muse. Oh, so I can change her equipment for each. Oh, and this schematic can use a different blade if I wanted to but I think this is oh look at that my power and magic and everything go up for this schematic so why wouldn't I want it want that weapon here same thing for the shield okay oh so you can literally just uh, mix and match everything is that how it works imp tail oh she has a tail reflective shades Hot-blooded tricone, which is pointy hat. What does it do? Um, the top is a little blurry. Oh, just for decoration. This literally does nothing. A beret. A hat that adds more dignity to a gentleman with its bittersweet sweet air. Or I could just leave her without any hat. But that's cool, an imp tail. Um, I'll leave the tail on her. And I can edit her. Oh, no, it's locked. So for this I can change it to heavy slash and it tells you how much ATB it costs. Beat down. Deals physical damage. High stagger capability. Charge strike. Deals physical damage. Power increases the longer the command button is held down. That's another punt. Deals physical damage with a swift kick. Does little damage but ATB cost is low. Five, yeah. This uh this game is gonna be amazing. I'm calling it I'm calling it right now. Edit garb color. Custom palette. Oh man, this is so cool. Um let me see the accents. Oh okay. So this is the level of customization you have over wow, all the way down to the color, that's incredible. Um, yeah, I'm not too good with, like, girly stuff, but, <laughs> you change the flower, I guess we'll leave it red, right? I don't know, my, my, custom, my character customization, hey, but it doesn't let me select all parts. Okay, so only certain parts of the outfit you can customize. That's interesting. I'll leave it like that. Default. The default it would be red, purple, and kind of like bluish purple for Heart Stealer. Um, really quickly, I'm just gonna check out how I can customize the Black Mage in terms of color.
Okay, so this you can actually edit a lot more. Um, which is pretty cool. And I'm not sure why there are two different color palettes because they're the same shade it seems. And I don't think I can uh I can change the brightness. Maybe. Oh, well, it's still really badass. So she's like a white mage. Actually, let me uh let me actually make it black. But yeah, I'm I'm really digging the character customization, just everything so far. All right, but enough of that. I'm going to actually just get back into the real game, but ah, oh, this is so fun. <laughs> On my free time probably right after I finish this, I'm going to What's where are these green dots? These are NPCs. FF. This is really fun. <laughs> so now does this guy contain a picture as well? How do I get my NPC somewhere else? Oh, Lumina. Don't know where. Don't know where they got this picture from, but okay, I'm gonna go in. A glimmer of light appears at last. Is the savior a sign of coming destruction or a promise of hope? I would like to bet on hope. If hope. you believe you are the true savior, you'll need to be carefully prepared for the battles that await you on your journey. At general stores, you can purchase items such as potions, remedies, or phoenix downs. Yeah, that makes sense. Or revive yourself when your, huh? Or revive yourself when your HP has dropped to zero, and you can no longer fight. So you can revive yourself. There is a limit to the number of recovery items you can carry. That's really interesting. So, restore a small amount of HP and adds ice attributes to your holy water. Cast protect and shell. I'm gonna buy. Oh, you can only literally you can only have five items on you. That's really interesting. Well, I have everything else. So, no, you can only have six items on you, and that's it. Which is... Oh, man. I'm really liking the uh, the system for all this. Another question I have is, can I change my default schem schema? What are they called? Schemata. Can I change my default one? Like, what if I want to walk around with her as a black mage instead of the savior? Can I make that the default? Let me see. Oh, I can change the name too. That's really cool. But I wanna switch. Oh, switch to a different slot. Okay, so now my dark muse is actually no black mage because right now that's my favorite schemata. But I'm guessing they're. Uh, let me see now. If I back out, she is indeed a black mage. Walking. Oh my God! This game is. Oh. All right. I just spotted snow. R2 allows you to run. You cannot attack for a while. All right. I'm a big fan of running and jumping in RPGs, like in open world games. I just like to have that sense of control over my character. All right, my gauge is down, so now I can't attack. Oh, and I guess I went the wrong way. Did I? Yeah, can't can't do anything with this. All right. Well, the marker is pointing there, but what's Snow up to anyway? Where's he going? I'm getting powerful chaos readings from inside the palace. Your cause is lost. Let's do this. Where's the stagger meter for my enemy? Actually, oh. I guarded. Right at the last minute. 
How do I target a different enemy? See, that I don't know yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hit some overclock thing. L2 seems to be overclock, which, like, froze time. Which is pretty interesting, also. And that's exactly where he seems to be headed. What the hell is he thinking? Running straight into the chaos? Is he going there to try to stop it, or is it to use it against us somehow? Okay, you target different enemies using the D-pad. Which... Oh, he staggered. How do I guard? Oh, and now do I have to switch enemies to guard a different enemy? Niblet. Oh, it's not dead yet? Alright. Keep up if you can. Evil must be vanquished. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to see how cosplayers how cosplayers are gonna now try and cosplay lightning. Oh there he is. Can I jump? <gasps> I can jump. That's insane. Did you notice how the people here call Snow the patron? Oh crap. I hit square by mistake instead of R1. There we go. It's your funeral. Alright, yeah, so I switched uh, schematas just so I can guard. Since I used my first one for attacking. Ooh, and she just dodged that pretty much on her own. Yeah, see, her movement is very minute, but I think it might help at least. Oh, now he's staggered. Okay. The patron? I don't see it. Sure, he liked to look after people, but lording it over an entire city? And jumping doesn't seem to take. Oh, what, what's this guy? Hey, it's a dog. Okay. Doesn't huh. look like he's enjoying it much, though. When I looked into his eyes, I didn't see much of the old snow. Snow, get your ass back over here, man. All right, this game is this game is what I would have expected from the original Final Fantasy XIII. Oh crap! I couldn't run. Lightning begins with five percent less HP. Holy crap! So that's what happens if you mess up. Because I was running, so I couldn't attack. Glutton. Okay, well, it seems that it, it still let me guard that enemy. Even though I wasn't facing it. Which is an interesting... So I guess your position doesn't matter too much. I will fight evil. Evil must be vanquished. So now am I able to take a picture? No. Okay. Wait, did she put her hand on it? Yeah. Huh. Alright, what's this? Oh, okay. Easy does it, Lightning. When that door opened, chaos readings in the whole area spiked. The source of the chaos is in the middle of the palace, right? That doesn't make sense. The snow I knew wouldn't let things get out of hand like that. And the switch between schematas is instant, which is really nice. So is guarding. Guarding seems to be very instant. Which is hella useful because I like to have control over my characters. See, I want to take a picture of her like that. And then, I don't know, post it up on the, uh, on whatever, the outer world. Alright, we in there. Whoa.
What the? Who are you? And what are you doing here? If you're playing around in the middle of this chaos, I'm guessing you're not human. <laughs> You can see when you're inside this stuff? Hmm. And you can't be one of God's regular lackeys, can you? <sighs> oh, shit. Um, yes, Hope, you need to get your ass over here. Alright, staggering tutorial, Zaltis. Yes, please. Try to hit foes repeatedly in their weak points or in the opening that appears between attacks. Give them no respite and you will eventually stagger them. Staggering foes become very vulnerable. The monster you see here is Azaltes, which is vulnerable to magic. Attack of magic abilities such as Thunder. Press R2 to use Libra and learn to target's vulnerabilities. Alright, R2. Oh, it gives me a free Libra just like that? That's awesome. Thanks. So it's vulnerability. Everything is unknown right now. So I'm going to go for uh, Blazaga. Alright. Maybe some quick freeze while I'm at it. Thunder. Uh oh. Alright. When you attack a monster's weakness, its HP gauge responds with a stagger wave. As you deliver effective attacks, the wave grows and eventually the gauge turns red showing that the foe is nearly staggered. When you first encounter a new enemy, experiment with different attacks to find its vulnerabilities and the attacks that best exploit them. Alright, so I'm going to electrocute the crap out of you. Oh shit. Alright, good thing I guarded that. And now I'm low on ATB. Frost Strike. Because you don't like magic, apparently. Fight evil. Yeah, fire doesn't seem to do very much. Uh, you guard it against an enemy attack. When you manage to make an enemy recoil by deflecting damage, with you will find yourself presenting a great opportunity to attack. Use this opening to land several attacks on an enemy, and you'll greatly boost the stagger wave. All right. I don't know if that seemed that felt like a perfect shield actually, but. Because I, I was running low on ATB. Oh, Blaze Burst. Can I block magic? Ooh. Okay. I did like 200 something. Alright, this should stagger. There we go. When you stagger your foe, you will not only inflict heavy damage, but you also grant yourself the opportunity to unleash further attacks. The best way to defeat powerful foes is to stagger them first. Alright, going in. Oh. Nice. What's up? L2 unleashes Lightning's powerful overclock ability. When the overclock is activated, time seems to slow to a crawl for everyone except Lightning herself. This leaves enemies defenseless against her seemingly instantaneously instantaneous flurry of attacks. Press L2 to use overclock. Alright. If you use overclock while foes are staggered, you have much more time to inflict heavy damage. Overclock consumes EP, but in return can be used at any time. Keep an eye out for the ideal time to use overclock. Evil has a price. Oh, actually. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Alright. Oh, now my attacks. Alright, I see. Whoa, tail hammer. Oh, okay, I see. So yeah, it's it's kind of tough to manage your uh, your ATB. Once you see the enemy attacking, it sometimes seems best to just switch right over to another ATB so you can have that option to guard, since it does take two. Yeah, he doesn't like those lightning attacks. Oh, he missed. Alright, I don't want to use this ATB because I have to get close. Ok, 
and Blizzaga sends him up in the air, which is pretty cool. Stampede. Oof. Okay. My life is getting kind of low, so I'm going to have to use a potion at one point. Might as well use it now. Alright, once I stagger him... Oh, crap. Alright. Now he's staggered. Overclock. Ooh, that did a lot. Alright, this game is freaking awesome. So nice, I can range him with Thunder actually. And he can't really hit me with any of his moves it seems. But uh, I'm out of ATB so I'm going to have to go in actually. Alright, he's done. That was a good guard. So he is able to uh, attack out of hit stun. There we go. Alright. Four stars. Not bad. Submit a battle score. Okay. You must enter a nickname in order to submit posts. Please enter a nickname now. Once registered, your nickname cannot be changed. My nickname is going to be JTails, of course. So if you guys find any of my postings, it's always going to be me. No one else uses the nickname JTails. Alright. So I can select an item to send to another player. Um, okay. So, yeah, they're definitely taking a page out of Dark Souls. Thunder, and I'll select an item. Okay, um, an X potion. Uh, is it letting me do that? I, you can send weapons? That's crazy. I guess, yeah, I'll send an X potion. Well, actually, no, because I might need my X potion, actually. I'll send a holy water. That's cool. Alright, now submit. Yes. So now anyone who finds that message gets a free item. Get, they get a free holy water just because I feel like being a, a lovely person that uh, this game is all right really cool um, and shout out to Dark Souls for actually implementing that first but I really like that Square Enix has taken note of that and they're trying to uh, incorporate it so I will be getting lightning returns on February 11th and I will be getting Dark Souls 2 on March 11th they're exactly one month apart all right you will be giving a battle score. Oh, now I can encounter him on, in the field. The faster you defeat the beast, the higher your score. Activate Outer World Services to submit your battle score to the Facebook application score ranking. Outer World Services can be activated through the settings option. Obtain powerful equipment from idle Outer World characters to help you achieve a high score. The devil. The demo will come to an end at 6 a.m. Keep your eye on the clock. Listen, Hope. I oh, I see. Can you analyze this chaos matter for me? Well, I don't know what's the point of, of coming that, up here, but it's no good. I'm gonna definitely play you this know, again. It's just too hard to see. And I'm. S I have a snow what day also from work, I'm so tomorrow sure. I'm gonna. Well, it's it ends at 6 a.m., so right. that's gonna be lame. I wonder if you can have like your friend specifically send you items and equipment. It's can I force it? That might be beyond even you. Hold on a second. I'll see what I can do from here. Whoa. Hmm. There's a lot of chaos building up back there. Yes, indeed. And snow's inside. 
Or whatever's left of him. Well, he has been living without hope for centuries. Now the world's about to end. He might have lost his mind entirely. If it were anyone else, I'd say that was a given. Do you think it could have gotten to him, though? Broken even his spirit? I hope not, but... After coming all this way? I'm his last chance, damn it. I know what he's going through. The pain of losing Sarah. That's true. If there's anything left of Snow, as the savior, you're the only one who can rescue him. That's why you have to protect yourself. If you're killed, it really will mean the end of the world. And then who can you save? All right, fine. Take me back to the Ark. Hold on. So she'll understand his pain? She thinks she's going to save his soul? But you listen to this nonsense? Ugh, God turns her into the savior and it all goes straight to her head. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, I think that concludes the demo of this, the end of a legend, the end of a saga. Bang. <laughs> That's awesome. I already did. Well, um, one thing I noticed actually was that there was a timer counting down to 13 days. And I don't know, they might be doing something like Majora's Mask, which I don't really like. I don't really like being pressed for time while I'm playing a game. But, um, I mean, let's see what happens. Uh, so yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too long and drawn out, and hopefully I provided good commentary and information for you. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, definitely hit subscribe because these are how most of my videos are. Hopefully you enjoyed my voice, my commentary, my gameplay. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing more of this tonight. I'm going to just replay it again and kind of, you know, see what, what other things I can find out. Um, but yeah, definitely go get on your 360s, get on your PS3s, and download this. It's, it's really fun. And otherwise, um, I'll catch you guys later. If you're on the East Coast, you know, stay warm. We've had a blizzard. If you're on the West Coast, uh, stay chillin' because your weather is always amazing. If you're anywhere else in the world, you know, I don't really know what to say to you. But <laughs> but really, guys, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate every view I get. I respond to all my comments. And I will catch you guys once. Well, probably before, but I'm definitely going to get this game. So, I'll see you later. Peace.